thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is restored like the eagles. The Bible says, The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto, the, unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, but he's plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. And this is a verse that, I, that speaks to my heart. It says, he hath not dealt with us after our own sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. And as far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. And like a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame. He remembers that we are only dust. God knows who I am, but he still loves me. Oh, come on, somebody. God knows who I am, but he's still crazy about me. God knows who I am, Yet he loves me unconditionally because the Bible says while I was yet a sinner he came and he died for me. He knew who I was. I wish I had about five people in this room that can declare that thing. But he loves me. I said he loves me with an everlasting love. And this morning we have come to love on him. We've come to love him back. Woo! We've come to pour back some love on him this morning. We've come to pour some love on him this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every time I read that verse, it does something to me. Even while I was yet a sinner. Woo. You have some folks that know some things about you. And they cut you off immediately. But God, even while he knew me. Woo, God. He still pours on me. Morning by morning. Your mercies I see. And take a minute and think about it. Look down at the spot of ground that you're standing right now. Just look down on that spot of ground. The truth is you did not have to be standing there this morning. This morning we received some news that a man who was standing outside somebody's gate last night, Sister Cheryl. And he said, you know what, I'm going to lie down. I don't feel too hot. He never woke up this morning. His wife rolled over. Honey, that was it. Don't take it for granted that you're alive today. And not only that, I have pledged Sister Henry that as long as there's breath in my body, I will praise him. And sometimes we come to church and we have to push people to praise as long as I have breath in my body. Help me musicians. I'm not hearing musicians to this. As long as I have breath in my body. As long as I have breath in my body. I will bless the Lord. Just go ahead and bless him right now. How great is our God. Just feel free to worship this morning with us. As we honor him this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise him in God.
put your hands together for the Lord. for the Lord. Come on, everybody.
everybody and singing it. Our God is your healer. Our God is healer. Awesome in power. Our God. Put those grateful hands together for the Lord, everybody. Somebody shout the name Jesus in this room. Somebody shout the name Jesus in this room. Come on, release the name Jesus in this room. Come on, release the name Jesus in this room. For at the name of Jesus, at the name of Jesus, at the name of Jesus, cancer's got to bow and demons and devils got to flee. Shout the name Jesus in this room, everybody. Yes, Lord, we worship you this morning. We praise your name this morning. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. For oh, your mercy never failed me. And all my days, I've been held in your the moment when I wake up, oh God, until I lay my head, oh, I will sing, anybody, of the goodness of God. Let me do it again. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. Yes, Lord. And all my days, I've been held in your hand. Anybody have the same testimony? From the moment that I wake up, oh God, until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. If you have the same testimony, lift your hands and say right here. And all my life. You have been faithful. Come on, somebody.
sing it, sing it, sing it, sing it. Oh, I will sing. Testify in this room. Testify in this room. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Just go ahead and testify in this room. Open your mouth and testify in this room of the goodness of God. Testify to the faithfulness of God. Come on, go ahead and testify. He's been good. Look at your name, it's your name, but he's been good, he's been good, he's been good, he's been good. I will sing of the goodness of the Lord. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. Woo. He is so good. Body that can lift your hands to the truth and see with me. Say God. He's been so good. Woo. My God. He is so good. God. He is so good. Go ahead and worship him. Go ahead and worship him in this room. So good. 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 When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul oh God, cries out, hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. I pray. When I think, oh God, of the goodness of Jesus and all, hey, glory to God, He has done for me. My soul cries out, hallelujah, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. I just need about five people in this room that can say, thank God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for saving, 
taming me when I think oh God of the goodness of Jesus and all oh, somebody say all is done for me my Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. There's sometimes the words ain't coming all right. All you gotta thank you, Jesus. I opened my fridge this morning. There was food, and thank you, Jesus. I woke up this morning. Thank you, Jesus. I'm in my right mind. Thank you, Jesus. You keep on making a way out of no way. Thank you, Jesus. You kept me safe during COVID-19. Thank you, Jesus. My family is not hungry. Thank you, Jesus. I wish I had some radical Christians in this room that can just open up your mouth and say, I'm grateful. Oh, I'm grateful. God, I'm grateful. I'm grateful, Jesus. I have a job. I'm grateful. I can pay the bills. I'm grateful. My children are home in Jesus' name. I'm grateful. I am well. I'm grateful. Thank God. Listen. I just need about five people in this room that can open their mouth and say, thank you, Jesus. No, no, no. I'm not talking about the cute kind of worship. I'm talking about that late night belly busting kind of thank you, Jesus. When there's nobody else around you but you and God, open up your mouth in this room and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I could have lost my mind, but thank you. I could have went under, but thank you. I could have been mad, but thank you. I could have lost my peace, but thank you. I could have been homeless, but thank you. Somebody on the opening mountain just say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is all right. All right. It is all right, Woo! all right, as long as I have my Lord beside me, it is all right. And when you're going through your storm, as long as I have his hands to hold, as long as he watches, hey, my God, over my soul, Sister Merlin. As long as I'm under, as long as I'm under, as long as I'm under, somebody shout, I'm under the rock, I'm under the rock, as long as I'm under his control, it is, woo, it is all right. Oh, I wish I had some people in this room that can, it is all right, all right. As long as I have his hands to As long as Jesus watches Over my soul As long as I'm under, 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 under His control Somebody tell it is alright, it is alright, it is alright, it is alright it is all right, it is all right, it is all right, it is all right. When peace, hey, like a river, I tend it my way, my God. When sorrows, glory, glory, like sea, below the road, 
Whoa. I just need some people. I just need whatever. Whatever my love say. Thou, 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 thou has taught me to say, lift your hands. I don't care what you're going through. It is well. It is well. It is well. Let the devil hear that. It is well. 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 Open up your mouth and begin to prophesy. It is well. It is well. It is well. I just need some sanctified people in this room to open up your mouth and declare this atmosphere. It is well. It is well. It is well. When peace. Hey. Like a river attending my way. When sorrows like she's is the sheriff below the road. Just a Haley, whatever, 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 my Lord. God has taught me to say, lift your hands and prophesy, it is well, it is well, who is, I got somebody with me. To share my heavy load. I don't walk alone. Someone declare, I don't walk alone. I don't walk alone. Uh, look at your name as a neighbor. Angels who excel in strength. Angels with sword drawn. Angels on special assignment. You wondered how you made it? <laughs> Angels, angels, on special assignment. I got somebody with me Woo! to share my heavy load. I feel his presence near me everywhere I go. And although trouble, although trouble, although trouble, may overtake me along life's weary road lift your hands in the room and say I got somebody with me on the rock of ages cleft for me I feel the spirit of my grandmother in my let me hide Myself, let the world and the blood from the wounded side with love be of sin. <laughs> Be of cancer, be of diabetes, the double cure. Save me. All the way, my Savior lead. Who wanna buy to have this? His tender mercy Who through life Has been my God Heavenly peace Divinest comfort Here by faith In him to dwell For I know 
whatever befalls me. Jesus do with all things well. For I know whatever befalls me. Jesus do with all things. Won't you just lift your hands in the presence of God? Even as we prepare for the man of God to come with the word. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh God, my Father, there is no shadow of turning in thee. For thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. She as thou hast been, thou forever will be great. God's faithfulness. Just think about it. Great is God's faithfulness. I'm here this morning. From morning by morning. New mercies Woo! I see. God's hands have provided great is God's faithfulness Lord all lift your hands in this room pardon for sin and peace that endureth thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide. That's the part I love. It says strength for today and bright hope for all my tomorrows. Blessings are mine with ten thousand beside. Lift your hands and say, Great is God's faithfulness. Great is God's faithfulness. Morning by morning. New mercies I see All I have needed The hands have provided Is there any faithfulness the Lord unto In me the of our unfaithfulness his faithfulness has prevailed his faithfulness has kept us his faithfulness has carried us in the midst of our failures in the midst of our shortcomings in the midst of us uh, 
letting him down and disappointing him his faithfulness uh, remain true his faithfulness uh, the commitment that he has made he has not uh, uh, withdrawn it or uh, delinquent it uh, but he has remained uh, faithful uh, so if there's if there be any praise uh, if there be any worship if there be any exaltation uh, if there be any adoration if there be any thanksgiving uh, this is a good time for everybody to open their mouth uh, and do something with their hands uh, and even move your feet uh, and say something in the atmosphere uh, and say something in the elements uh, and say something so that demons and devils uh, will know that you are a worshiper uh, will know that you are grateful and you are thankful uh, and that you are appreciative uh, for what the Lord uh, has done for us, uh, for we got a song that says, uh, uh, if it had not been, if it had not been, uh, but the Lord who was on my side, uh, tell me where, uh, tell me where would I be? Uh, oh, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. in church, a praise in church, a shout in church, a hallelujah church. Ah, that somebody will just go ahead and magnify the Lord with me, for he is good all the time. We said to God, be the glory. If he had only stepped aside for a moment, the enemies would have swallowed us up quickly. If he had only slumbered or fell asleep for a moment, the enemy would have swallowed us up quickly. But thanks be to God. Or somebody said, I know his eye is on the sparrow, but I know that his eye is not only on me, but I know that he's watching his monitoring every step that I take. His eyes are up on the enemies. The eyes of the Lord monitors the wicked, monitors the enemies, monitors demons and devils. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. We are not here today by chance, but we are here because there is a greater power. We are here because there is a greater grace. We are here because there is a greater spirit that reign and rule in the elements and the firmament and the universe. A spirit that dominate and take charge and control over demons and devils. I say to somebody, you are in a good place. You are in good hands. Go ahead and worship him with all your might. Magnify him with all your strength for he is worthy. To God be the glory. You may be seated. We want to thank Minister Odin, and the praise team, and the musicians, and each and every one, amen, today who came together, amen, to make this service a success thus far. To God be the glory. It's good to have Pastor Kalinda and Mother Kalinda back with us today. Amen. Last week they were not here. They were away on assignment, but thank God they are back in the house today. And to the visitors, we are indeed happy that you have chosen Grace Deliverance to be your place of worship today. And I know that before you will leave this place today, amen, the deliverance that you seek, you will find it. Amen. Because it is here. And to the membership and to each and every one, we give God thanks for you. 
And we are in particular grateful that you did not allow your situations or your circumstances or your, 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 your condition to prevail against you, but you have prevailed against your condition and you are here today in spite of, uh, in spite of what COVID-19 is, is saying. And in particular, uh, those with uh, underlying condition that you could have used uh, your underlying condition. You could have used your reason uh, to stay home today. Amen. But rather than using it to stay home, uh, you use your reason uh, to be in the house of the Lord. And uh, it, it, it counted not robbery. Let me say to you that God appreciate that and God looked at that uh, and God uh, is grateful for that and God is going to bless you for that. Uh, amen. Because you had a reason to stay home but you move past that reason and you found another reason that is greater than that reason to be in the house of the Lord. Go ahead and give him praise. Don't take it for granted. It's not everybody use their reason to come to the house. Some use their reason to stay home. Amen. So those who have made it to the house of God you should just give God thanks for the strength and the courage and the faith that he has placed within you that you did not use your reason to stay home but you use your reason to come to God be the glory hallelujah thank you Lord let me try and work with it amen amen Genesis chapter 18 it is the month of December and for the month of December, we have already established that it is the month of the prophetic plan. The month of the prophetic plan. We are going to be looking at Genesis uh, chapter 18 today. The prophetic plan. Genesis chapter 18, reading at verse 1 and following. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo there, and lo three there, three men stood by him. When he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself towards the ground. And said, my Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee. For thy servant, uh, from thy servant, let a little water, I pray thee, be fetched. And wash your feet and rest yourself under the tree. And I will fetch a morsel of bread and comfort in your hearts, and that he shall pass on. For therefore are we come to your servant. And they said... So do as thou hast said. And Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal, knead it, and make cakes upon the heat. And Abraham ran unto the herd and fetched a calf tender and good and gave it unto a young man. And he hath hastened and dressed it. And he uh, took butter and milk and the calf which he had dressed uh, and set it on and set and, and set it and dressed it. And he took butter and milk and the calf which he had dressed and set it before them. And he stood by them under the tree and they did eat. And they said unto him, where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah, thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door, which was behind her. Now Abraham and Sarah was old and well stricken in age, and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner 
of women. Therefore, Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I'm wax old, shall I have pleasure with my Lord also old? And the Lord has said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, I shall have a surely bear a child which, which I'm old. Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. And Sarah denied, saying, I love not. For she was afraid. And he said, Nay, but thou didst laugh. And the men rose up from thence and looked towards Sodom, and Abraham went with them on the way. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham that which I do? Seeing that Abraham shall surely become great and, and a mighty nation, and all nations of the earth shall be blessed of him. For I know him, that he will command his children and his household after him, and they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment, that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of him. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your words. We thank you that they are yea and amen. We thank you that they are prophetic. And we thank you that they accomplished. And for that cause, we lift our faith and we lift our eyes and we look up to the heavens and we look up to the hills another time. Father, we seek your face and we seek your help and we pray for your divine intervention in this place now. We pray that you will come down and manifest your great and might power. We pray that you will clear every blockage, every cycle. We'll end now every device and every assignment of principalities and powers. We rebuke now and blood upon cast. And blood, sword, and fire upon them and torment and terrorize them. We take control. We dominate over this atmosphere, over these elements, over this firmament. We take charge and control over Satan, his network and his operation. We intercept every arrows. We quench every fiery dust of the wicked. Every cloud of heaviness and darkness. Every spirit of oppression and suppression and depression that the wicked one, almighty God would have seek to release upon your children. We attack and rebuke and curse it now. Father, the anointing that thou has given unto us to dominate and to reign and rule over the kingdom of darkness. We use that anointing now to take charge and control over the elements and the firmament, over the prince of Persia and the kings of Greece. I ask of thee now, Father, that the plan, the prophetic plan that you have put in place for your children, we pray that that plan will now be activated, that plan will be released, that plan will be fulfilled, that your people will prosper in the plan, they will walk in the plan, they will rejoice in the plan, they will flourish and prosper in the plan. They will soar and almighty oh God and mount up with wings like eagles in the plan. For thou art the very God who put the plan in place and fulfilled the plan. So today we pillow our head upon your breast. We cast all our cares upon thee and look to you now for total and complete fulfillment of the plan in every life of your children by your spirit and by your blood. Father we give you worship and we give you praise. We pray you will clear the atmosphere that preaching will be easy. Deliverance will be easy. Miracles will be easy. Breakthrough will come 
the way of your children healing and deliverance so mighty God of Daniel we give you worship and we give you praise and we pray and we ask it in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah thank you Lord to God be the glory the prophetic plan it is the month of divine fulfillment the month of divine fulfillment and if there is anybody in this house that is carrying a plan on your life and you know that that plan is prophetic uh, set yourself for divine fulfillment for God said a time has come for the plan that I have put in place for your life to be fulfilled and the only way the plan will not be fulfilled is if the plan is not prophetic but as long as the plan is prophetic it doesn't matter how long it may take it doesn't matter how things may look or how things may seem it, the plan will be fulfilled the plan will come to pass the Bible the Bible the Bible the Bible tells us about a man and a woman a couple by the name of Abraham and Syria. The Bible said that they had no children. And the Bible also said that the time for childbearing has passed them, has left them. Our Syria, our fountain has dried up. She was disconnected from her cycle. So scientifically, humanly, it was impossible for her to conceive and have a child. Oh, but the question, the question that was asked, is there anything too hard for God to do? It may be impossible scientifically. It may be impossible physically, but spiritually and supernaturally, it's not impossible. And if somebody will understand that the place we have come to, it is called Mount Zion. It is called a city inhabited by the living God. It is called a place of miracles, a place of deliverance, a place where the impossible are made possible. Oh, that somebody will some impossible our situations today will go ahead and just give God a praise for the plan that he has put in place for your circumstances and for your situation but the Bible already declare that there is a plan in place for the things that are impossible with man oh yes the Bible says the things that are impossible with man those things are possible with God oh that somebody with some situations that is beyond man beyond your control that you know that man cannot help you man cannot do anything for you man cannot fix it for you but thanks be to God that you have a God with a plan in place to take care of it to fix it and to give you victory in your situation and over your situation oh we worship him we magnify him we glorify him we honor and exalt him ah, for there is a prophetic plan in place for our lives and that plan that plan that God was working on that plan that God was putting in place that plan is now in motion that plan is now in operation that plan is now in place that plan is now being fulfilled in our lives oh that somebody will get ready to walk to walk to rise up and to 
walk into your fulfillment. To walk into your fulfillment. Oh, glory to God. Where I hear the Holy Ghost said, Your month of fulfillment has come. Your day of fulfillment has come. Your season of fulfillment has come. You have suffered your way. You have struggled your way. You have wrestled your way. You have fought your way. You have prayed your way. Too much fasting. Too much prayer. Too much affliction. Too much persecution. Too much trials. Too much tribulation. You have made it. You have made it into your month of fulfillment. Into your day of fulfillment. Oh, some way, somehow, that was meant, that which was meant to kill you, that which was meant to destroy you, some way, somehow, because of the plan that God put in place, you were able to get by it. You were able to get past it. You were able to get through it. Oh, glory to God. There is a prophetic plan in place for our lives. Many of us, we should have died. But because there is a plan that was not yet fulfilled, oh, we could not die. We could not die because the plan is prophetic. Go ahead and give him praise. Go ahead and give him glory. And what shall I say? What shall I say to the church? What shall I say to God's people? That God said to tell you that each and every one of us, there is a specific plan, a prophetic plan for every life, for everyone, for every situation, for every circumstances. There is a Prophetic Abraham, the Bible said, he was 75, and, and Sarah was 65 when God appeared unto them in Haran and make them a promise and make them a promise that they will have, they will have, they will have children, that they will have, they will be blessed with uh, children. The Bible said years pass, years pass. It wasn't God, it wasn't God who said, the time it was Sarah and Abraham who set the time in their mind or in their mind they set a time that it must happen that it must come to pass and seems as if the time that they has set in their mind has passed and because the time has passed they started to become impatient panic attack and fear I started to overtake them because it seems as if the promise will never be fulfilled. It seems as if the plan will never come to pass. But glory to God. Hallelujah. The God that we serve, the God that we serve, he never forgets. He never make a promise and does not fulfill them. The God that we serve, he is the God of the supernatural. And the older Abraham was getting, and the older Sarah was getting, he's the greater the miracle was getting. Can I say to somebody, if that is you who have been waiting in overtime, have been waiting longer than your plan, longer than your hope, God is saying it's all a part of the plan because your miracle has now been supersized your miracle 
is now being greater. Your miracle will carry a greater story. Oh, glory to God. Your miracle will carry a greater praise, a greater worship, and a greater shout. Nations will know that your God is greater than any other God. That your God can do what no other God can do. You see, God waited and waited until scientifically it was now totally and completely impossible for it to happen. Ah, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. The Bible said things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. And God warned his people to know that they should stop looking at things the way it looked, the way it seemed, or the way they might have heard it. But start believing God. Start trusting God. Start looking to God. Start investing her faith in God because God did not want a scientific baby. God wanted a prophetic baby because the plan is not scientific. The plan is prophetic. So in order for the plan to work, the plan cannot be scientific. It must be oh that somebody would go ahead and give him praise that you are a part of the prophetic the prophetic the prophetic plan oh glory to God hallelujah oh thanks be to God ah. Ah. we worship and we give thanks so time has passed, some 11 years has passed, and no baby, no pregnancy. Sarah is getting weaker. She's getting older. Abraham is getting weaker. Things are not looking good. Things are not looking bright. So for a moment, they took their eyes off God. For a moment, they took their eyes off the promise. And they start to look at Agar. They start to look at the maid. And Sarah said to Abraham, oh, can I say to somebody in this house today that the Lord's here to tell you, whatever, whatever, whatever you do, don't allow anybody or anything to cause you to quit, and your promise, to cause you to quit, and your promise, our people will try to talk you out of your promise, our people will try to change your mind, people will try to discourage you, our people will try to stop you from waiting on your promise, our faith, our Sarah, I was ready to quit on her own promise, ready to give up on her own promise, ready to pass on the promise to the maid. But I stopped by to say to somebody, it is not a maid promise, it is your promise, it is your promise. Whatever you do, no maid, no maid will get your promise. No man will fulfill your promise. Your promise that God has made you will be fulfilled in your own life, in your own time, before you die, before you die, before you die. I prophesy, I decree, and declare the word of God that before you die, you will see it, you will experience it. You will produce it. It will happen the way that God has said it. Minister Oden, sing the song. All the way my Savior leads me. What have I to ask beside? Can I doubt his tender mercy? Who through life has been my guide? Heavenly peace, divinest comfort. Hear my faith in him to dwell. But I know what here befalls me 
is all. Oh, that somebody will shout is all. It's all a part of the plan. It's all a part of the plan. It's all a part of the prophecy. It's all a part of the journey. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey. So I hear the Holy Ghost said, pick up back and your promise. Pick up back and your promise. Stimulate your faith. Stimulate your confidence. Stimulate your courage. Stimulate your hope. Pick up back and your promise. Get back into the place where your God met you. Get back into the place where your God speak to you. Where your God showed up. But the Bible said God showed up unto Abraham and Sarah in the plains of memory with a prophetic word, with a prophetic plan that you and your wife Sarah shall have a son. Time seems to be one of our greatest enemies. Time seems to be one of our greatest enemies. Because we are seeing people end up marrying people that they say no to years ago. We are seeing people done things that they said they would not have done years ago because of time. And because of time, they feel like, well, their promise is time controlled. Their promise is determined by time and not by God. But God wants his people to understand that he controls time. He controls destiny. He controls the promise. He controls the fulfillment. He controls season. And God wants his people to know that when your season has come, it doesn't matter what the weather condition may be saying. It doesn't matter what the sky may be saying when your season has come it is going to happen because your season is not depending on the cloud in the sky your season is your season is not depending on the shining of the sun or the shining of the moon or the stars but it is determined by your faith connecting to your God believe in your God trust in your God waiting upon your God for your divine fulfillment and manifestation God make an appearance in the plains of memory and told Abraham and Sarah that the both of you will experience a change of name the both of you will experience a change of name. A change of name symbolizes covenant or agreement. When a woman marries to a man, a part of the covenant that they have entered into is that the woman agree to a change of a name because the man the groom represent God the bride the woman represent the church so as God uses the symbol between a man and a woman in their marriage to the relationship between him and his church so as the woman receive a new name so the church of God receive a new name. So we sing the song, there's a new name written down in glory and it's mine. Oh yes, it's mine. For the white robe angels tell the story. A sinner has come home. Redemption
redemption has prevailed. Deliverance has come. So Sarah will become Sarah and Abraham will become Abraham because the word Abraham means a father of many nations. Oh, glory to God. And when I read further down in the passage and when I saw where God said, I know for I know Abraham for I know him that he will command his children and his house after me. Let's pause a moment. God is talking about the same old Sarah. He's talking about the same old Abraham that did not yet have any children. Did not see any possibility of having any children. Yet God is talking about their children, their nations, their descendants. God is saying, you see, if it happened when man can do it, then man will get the praise. If it happened when man can do it, then man will get the glory. But if it happened when man cannot do it, then we know that all the glory and all the praise and all the honor belongs to God. I hear the word, the word, the word said the things that are impossible with man. Children of God, the things that we can do for ourselves. Don't waste time and pray about those things. Don't waste time and fast about those things. Why are you fasting and praying about the things that you are able to do? The Bible said whatsoever our hands find to do, whatsoever we are able to do, go ahead and do it with all our might. It's time we wake up. It's time we get up. It's time we wise up because things we are able to do, we allow devil to fool us and tell us to wait on God and praying about it and fasting about it and waiting on God when God has already given you clearance, God has already given you go ahead God already said whatsoever you are able to do for yourself go ahead and do it but the things that you are not able to do for yourself, pray and I will do them for you the things that are impossible Pray about them. The things that man I cannot do. Pray about them and I will do them for you. Is there anything that you'd like to happen in your life and you have been trying and you have been seeking the help of man and it's not happening? Well, God is saying now it's time to cease from man and look above. It's time to look to your God for the things that are impossible for the thing that seems as if they are past and will never be able to happen. I hear a word coming up in my spirit. I hear a word coming up in my soul and the word of God is the Bible said the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. But I hear the Lord say to tell my people get past laid up. Get past laid up. Get past laid up up and get into possess and get into possess every day we get up we testify and we say the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just but I hear the Holy Ghost said it's time to break in on the wealth it's time to break in on the wicked it's time to interrupt the plans have laid up the plans have laid up the plans have crippled up the plans have tied up the plans have hold up the plans have delayed up the plans have set back up I hear the Holy Ghost said the line up is over oh the son of Bosha and that somebody oh that somebody will join faith with me and join confidence with me and break him and the wicked and breaking in the place and breaking 
something and interrupt and disrupt and disturb something and say I'm here for my promise I'm here for my inheritance I'm here for my husband I'm here for my wife I'm here for my business I'm here for my promotion I'm here for my children I'm here for the fulfillment of my promises no longer will my blessing and my riches be laid up I will know of direct access somebody shout access access for twi 25 years Abraham promise was laid up the plan was already in place God has already established the plan decree the plan <laughs> But for 25 years, it was laid up. But thanks be to God that the God that we serve said to Abraham, I know you and your wife have been disconnected from the season according to the time of life. I know I have some ladies in this house who understand what the Bible is saying. That the Bible said that they were disconnected from their season, from their cycle according to the cycle and the time of life. But I hear God said to Abraham and God said to Sarah, hey, the both of you need a reconnection. Oh, glory to God. It's the month of calling back. It's the month of calling back. It's the month of calling back. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. It's the month of calling back. A woman of God, whatever it is, that you need God to call back. And you need God to bring back. God said, open your mouth and decree and declare it and it shall be so and my people shall decree and declare a thing according to Job chapter 22 and it shall be so and it shall be done and it shall come to pass so God said I will call back the boat of you cycle I will reconnect you to your cycle according to the time of life I will restore you I will reconnect you I will return you oh glory to God and your wife Sarah shall be pregnant and she shall have a child and the name of the child will be called Isaac if I can get somebody to understand that God is very specific with his promise. God is very specific with his blessing. When it comes to God's blessing, it's not mercy drops around us. When it's mercy drops, it may drop on some, and it may not drop on some because it's mercy drops. But when it comes to the blessings of God, it is showers. It is showers. It is showers. It is showers. For God said it's shot. It's prophetic. God said I put a plan in place. And it is prophetic. For it shall come to pass in the last days. I said God that I will pour out. That the mercy.
mercy. Oh, that my people will rise up and move past mercy drop and move into pouring out and move for too long. We sing the song mercy. Drops round us are falling. Oh, we need to move into pouring, into pouring, into pouring. Our God said there is a pouring plan in place. There is a maximum plan in place. The minimum plan is over. The minimum plan is cancelled. We are moving into maximum. Into maximum plan. Oh, glory to God. For God called Abraham when he was still disconnected from his cycle. And called him and said, look up to the heavens. Look up on the stars. Look on the sands of the sea. Your seed shall be as numberless as the stars in heaven and as the sea the sand by the seashore it will come to pass because God has spoken it it will come to pass because it is prophetic the child will be born our Sarah will be pregnant is there any Sarah in this house is there any Abraham in this house God said it will happen it it will be fulfilled. It will come to pass because I have spoken it and I want you to know that the child will not die. The child will live. The child will live. The child represent our inheritance. The child represent our blessing. The child represent our future. The child represent our hope. And I, I want the church to know that the child will live. The child will not die. Our demons and devils may be releasing arrows and plotting against the child. But the child will live because the child is the promise. The child will increase. The child will multiply. The child will grow. The child will wax great. I hear the Holy Ghost. I hear the Holy Ghost said you are the offspring of the child and as the child grow so you will grow as the child prosper so you will prosper as the child flourish so you will flourish I hear the Holy Ghost and as the rain and the rain coming down from heaven and water the earth and sit on the earth and stay on the earth and it does not go back to the heaven I hear the Holy Ghost said when the blessing come down when the blessing come down as the rain sits on the cross so it will sit on you it will sit on your family it will sit in your future it will sit in your life and the promise came down on the day of Pentecost and the Bible said it sat upon them it sat upon them I hear the Holy Ghost said in this month of December in this season there's a sitting upon blessing there's a resting upon blessing oh glory to God there's an inhabiting blessing for God's children that nothing can change it and nothing will change it and nothing will shift it because it is of the Lord get ready Get ready for the news. Get ready for the news. Because all those who have been shouting barren woman. Barren woman. Sarah was known as the barren woman. After a while, folks don't call her by her name anymore. That's why God had to change her name from Sarah to Sarah. Because after a while, folks, Sister Rose, folks were no longer calling her by her name. She was now no, was no known as the barren woman. But God was ready to change her name and change her story and change the testimony and change the song. Ah, 
Reverend Mingus, get what? Guess what? The same, the same people who used to say barren woman, the same people now start to say, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? You don't know who pregnant. Guess what? Tell me. Tell me more. Who is it? Who is it? You remember that old woman, that barren woman, oh Sarah, she's pregnant. Oh, you're not telling truth. You don't know what you are talking about. Yes, her stomach is pushing. Her stomach is pushing. The evidence is there. The witness is there. The sign is there. She is pregnant. And somebody said, well, I have to see that baby first. I have to see that baby first. Or some people, they can only believe when they see. But the Bible said, blessed are those who can believe before they have a seed. So those who wanted to see the baby, yes, indeed, they did, they did see the baby. The baby was born, and it was a boy, as the prophecy has said, and his name was Isaac. And God entered into a covenant with Abraham, and God said to Abraham, of all your children and your descendants, I am entered into a blood covenant with you. I need them to be a circumcised. And he said, not only your children and your children's children, but also your maid, also your slaves, those who are bought with money and come into the house, are coming to the family, are circumcised them also. If somebody can catch a piece of that revelation, that we, we were not Isaac children, but we were bought into the house. Somehow we gain access into the house. Somehow we enter in covenant. Circumcise them also. Bring them under the covenant also. Bring them in also. Oh, that somebody will go ahead and worship God. If somebody can find Genesis 15 and verse 13 and put it up. And Genesis 17 and verse 15 and put it up. And let us just look for an a few more verses and I will close. Yes, this is my covenant which it shall keep between me and you and thy seed and after thee every man child among you shall be circumcised and he shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin and shall be a token of the covenant twixt me and you. And and the 16th verse, the 15th verse, and God said unto Abraham, As for Sarah, thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarah, but Sarah shall her name be called, and I, and I, and I. Who is going to do it? Who is going to do it? Who is going to do it? The high priest. Who is going to do it? His neighbor. Who is going to do it? His father or his grandfather. No, God said, and I, and I, and I will bless Sarah myself. I will bless Sarah myself. For whom God bless, no devil can turn back, no devil can cancel, no devil can stop, no devil can hinder. And I say to the church today, rise up and move past laying up and move into divine fulfillment of prophecy. Move into your into the secret place and the inner court of divine connection with your God so that the blessing that he has in store for you will be released upon you. God said, oh, I will bless her and give thee a son also of her, not Ego, but Sarah shall bear you a son. And God repeated it and said, and I will bless her. And, shall, and she shall be a mother of nations, kings of people shall be of her. Then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed and said in his heart, 
shall a child be born unto him that is a hundred year old and shall Sarah that is 90 years bear a child. The Bible said the both of them laugh at their promise. The both of them laugh at the word of God. The both of them took it for a joke. And God said, Sarah, thy wife, shall bear thee a son. Indeed, God re-emphasize. And thou shalt call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. And as for Ishmael, Agar's son, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall be, shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac. Here where we miss it. Here where we miss it. We are Ishmael children. We are Ishmael children without redemption. We are Ishmael children. But where we miss it, where we miss it, is that we pronounce the blessing upon the Jews. We pronounce the blessings upon the Jews. Am I telling the truth? Upon Isaac's children. But we pronounce the curse. We pronounce the curse upon ourselves. Am I telling the truth? We see ourselves as being cursed. Right, Malakalinda? We see the Jews as being blessed, but we see ourselves as being cursed. And as long as we continue to see ourselves as being cursed, the blessing is going to stay laid up. But if we can come to the place and understand that God pronounced a blessing also upon Ishmael's children, that I will bless your children, and great nations shall come out of you, and you will have power on earth, and also Authority on earth. Oh, somebody sing the song. Our better days are coming by and by when we reach that city in the sky. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, put that sky city and hold for a moment. I have some earthly promise that God has made me and my children that I'm not going to the sky until I receive them. I'm not going to the sky until they are fulfilled. Or I hear the writer say, Hope of earth, hope of earth, and joy of heaven. I call the church into hope. I call the church into blessing. I call the church into prosperity. I call the church into inheritance. I call the church into fulfillment. I call the church into faith. Our God said, Ishmael's children, they too will be blessed because they are also Abraham's children. Let's tell the truth. Many of us did not know that we are Abraham's children, just as the Jew are. We are Abraham's children. And God pronounced a blessing upon us because we are also Abraham's children. I believe it's Galatians chapter 4 that said, More are the children of the desolate than the children of the marriage wife. We outnumbered. We outnumbered the legal year. And thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. And I hope and pray as I close this message today that somebody will understand that salvation did not come to the Jew through Abraham. And salvation did not come to the Gentiles through Abraham. That Abraham has nothing to do with our salvation. Abraham has nothing to do with our eternal life. Abraham has something to do with our earthly possession.
our earthly wealth, our earthly riches, the earthly covenant. But when it comes to the heavenly, circumcision cannot get us into the heavens. Circumcision cannot get us into the righteousness and the holiness. It took the blood of Jesus, the covenant that God has established in order for man to go to heaven. It's the blood of his son. For he said, when I see the blood of my son I will know that you are qualified. I will know that you are in a relationship with me. I will know that you are purchased and bought with a price. So if that somebody will understand that Jesus told Nicodemus that even though you may be a son of Abraham you have no partner lot in this matter. You have no partner lot in this salvation plan because this salvation plan does not come through Abraham and his descendants have no access to this. This comes through the Son of God. This comes through the Spirit of God. This comes through the righteousness of God. Except a man be born again. I say to the church, let's not confuse earthly things with heavenly things. Let's not confuse earthly promise with heavenly promise. Earthly blessing with heavenly blessing. Our heavenly blessings come through us uh, through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, earthly blessings come through us through Abraham. Uh, the children of Israel traveled from Egypt to Canaan. Uh, it was an earthly journey they were traveling. Uh, but we are not traveling from Egypt to Canaan. Uh, we are traveling from earth to heaven. Uh, oh glory to God. Uh, they did not need so much faith uh, to take them from Egypt to Canaan. Uh, their feet would have taken them. Uh, they could have walked their way to Canaan. But in order for us to go to heaven, our feet cannot take us there. We are going to need some walk of faith. Some walk in the Holy Ghost. Some walk in the anointing. Some walk in prayer. Some walk in fasting. Some walk in the secret place. And the inner course with our God. Some walk in separation. And disconnecting ourselves from the things of this world some say no to the things of this world uh, we cannot go to heaven while we are saying yes to the pleasures while we are saying yes to the sin and the evil of this world we got to disconnect and separate and reconnect in order to go to heaven our sin has disconnected us and disfigured us but Jesus had reconnected us and regenerate us and change and transform us and liberate us and set us free. Our sin has one purpose and it's to disconnect and disfigure our righteousness and holiness has one purpose is to reconnect and requalify and regenerate and because of the righteousness of God that has been imputed and to us through Jesus the son of God today we stand in this house clear of all charges stand with me everybody stand to your feet we stand redeemed we stand delivered we stand changed and transformed we stand liberated we stand set free we stand in the prophetic plan that God has put in place that it will come to pass it will fulfill and I prophesy this day I prophesy beside this day and I know I have a believing church I know there are some folks in Facebook land and radio land and there are folks in distant land who believe that we are in a new season and that God has shifted us into a new season into a new place where there will be no more laying up but it will be possession it will be possession here we change our testimony we change our thinking we change our faith we break in no one receive we break in and possess we break in and occupy but no longer oh that somebody will lift their hands to heaven and shakalabosha 
Ah, that somebody will shout a shout of faith and say the lane up is over. The lake and a bushapa. The lane up is over. The lane up is over. The lane up is over. It's promise it will fill in time. It's promise it will fill in day. And we shall have an abundance. We shall possess the wealth. We shall possess the riches. We shall possess the promise. It will be fulfilled. For God said, I will reconnect. Oh, you to your cycle. God said, I will bring back. I will call back. I will restore you to your cycle. We are changing our testimony. We are changing our outlook. We are changing our per 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 perspective. No more laying up. We are past the days of laying up. We are now in the season of possessing. The season of possessing. By and through the grace of God. And I pray that the church will rise with me in faith. And the church will rise with me in prayer. And we will change our prayer, brother Ian. And we'll start to pray differently. And we'll no longer pray and say the wealth of the riches is laid up for the righteous. But we'll now pray and say that the wealth of the riches is now the righteous. Is now the righteous. Oh, that somebody will shout is now. Is now. Is now. For the day of Lane up is over. Ella Bushadaka. The day of lane up is over. We are moving. We are moving. We are crossover. We are possessed. No more paycheck to paycheck. No more struggling to pay bills. No more waiting on promises. It's the day of fulfillment. Prophetic miracle. It shall come to pass, and I prophesy, I decree and declare that it has come, that unexpected doors, unexpected doors, unexpected miracles, unexpected favors, unexpected Spirit of the Lord is here. Spirit of the Lord. Barrenness is over. Here, miracle. Barrenness is over. Lay no For the Spirit of the Lord is here, God. Spirit of the Lord is here. The evidence is all around. The evidence is all around. The Spirit of the Lord is here. The plan is in Miracle. place. The plan is in place. For God is in this place. Spirit of the Lord is here. The evidence is all around. For the Spirit of the Lord is here. Business, new business birth, 
up, me love. New Come business on, releasing, on, releasing, on, releasing. On, the wealth, the wealth, the wealth, the wealth of the wicked is now handed, 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 handed over, handed over, hand over now, hand over now, hand over now, hand over now, turn over now, give over now. Recalibrate, shock on the rubber. Release over now, wealth of the wicked. Release over now, hand over now. I send over now, give over now. Wealth of the wicked. Your prayers, your prayers, your New day, yeah. new day, new season, season of possession. Season of receiving, season of increase, a season of multiplication and prosperity, season of shift in the name of Jesus, where we decree and declare the fulfillment of the word of God. The plan is no longer being worked on. Long time ago, God was working on a plan to Sarah and Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and Moses and the prophets. But the plan is no longer being worked on, Sister Merlin. The plan is in place. The plan is completed. The plan is in ours. The fulfillment of the plan is here. Oh, that somebody will go ahead and walk into their fulfillment and step into their fulfillment and glory. There is more to the plan, so we'll Never continue. Now. We'll continue to unveil the plan as the month of Still December wears on. We'll continue to unveil the plan. Somebody said, ruin lives, broken pieces. But why he died and Calvary, his touch is what we long for, for he has given and new. Oh, glory to God. Returning us to the cycle. Reconnecting us to the cycle. Giving us a life and new. Rebirthing things that is dead. Uh, things that was buried. Rebirthing and calling back and bringing back to life. We'll continue to preach it in the month of Elabusha. The plan is in place to take care of all that. To restore and to bring back all that. To get that back and track. Rules. Broken pieces. I stop by to say to you, that may be you, but it's not over. The pieces cannot be so badly broken that he cannot put them back together. I remember when I was a boy, I learned something that he said, Humpty Dumpty sat upon a wall. And Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. And all the wise men could not put him back together again because he was broken in pieces. But I want somebody to know that a greater than the wise men is here and his name is Jesus. The pieces cannot be broken so badly that he cannot put it back together. For this purpose, the plan was put in place, ruined lives and broken pieces. But why he died on Calvary to put the pieces back. completely whole. If you have olive oil, if you have water, just hold it up. Just hold it up. Hold it up. Hold it up. If you have any special need that you need a special prayer, just hold up. Just hold up. Father, we thank you for today. 
Lord. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your children. We thank you for Spirit your words. Of the Lord. We thank you for the anointing. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank oh, you the for the plan that you have put in place. I lift up prayers now on the behalf of your children. And I ask of thee, O oh God, by your spirit and by your blood, by your anointing and by your power, that you will touch these bottles. You will release a full flow of your anointing within these bottles. You will touch your children, God. You will release healing. You will release deliverance. You will release breakthrough and miracles onto your children today. Living fountains of water, God, break out. Reconnect them, mighty God, to the cycle according to the blessing and the inheritance. We pray today and decree and declare almighty God that you will reconnect to the cycle of prosperity and blessings and goodness and good health and favor almighty God reconnect we pray in the name of Jesus Father by your spirit and by your blood by your anointing and by your power Pray and bless the givers and bless the tithe and bless the offering. Almighty God, open doors, release now the abundance. Release all that which has been laid up unto your children. Release it, oh God. Release it unto your people, we pray God, for release. Every tying up spirit, every holding up spirit, every delaying spirit, we blood up and attack and rebuke and charge and break in and defeat and dominate and destroy and take charge over the wealth, over the lands and the houses, the businesses, the institutions, the jobs, almighty. Oh, God, the promotions, the wealth, and the riches will break in today and take over and reign and rule. Almighty God, for it is our time, it is our season, it is our day, and we give you glory. We give you honor and we give you praise for coming through. Bless the givers and the bless the tithes and bless the offering and bless each and every one. Bless the visitors. Bless the members. Almighty oh, God, save the lost. Draw them. Bring them in. Bring back the backsliders. We call them back. We call them back in the name of Jesus. We call sinners to repentance. We call them in the house. Almighty oh, God, by your spirit and by your blood, we send out a Holy Ghost call, a Holy Ghost cry, a call for returning to the house, almighty God. Pronounce the priestly blessings upon your children, that in blessing you will bless them, and in multiplying you will multiply them. Father, we give you worship and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God the Father, God the Son, God the Blessed Holy Ghost, rest, remain, abide with you both now and forever. And we say amen for the Portugals in depositing your tithes and your offering. We are asking you that you will do your best. Amen. The needs are there. I'm asking you to make your sacrifice and be a blessing to the ministry. We have some products next door for distribution. We're going to ask you to go out through the front door. And then you go next door to the elevator door. The things will be this.